Hands your hand. Every morning, most of us reach for our toothbrush without a second thought. Brushing is a daily ritual, simple, familiar, and essential for keeping our mouths healthy. This simple act protects us from cavities and gum disease, and has been trusted for generations as the foundation of oral hygiene. But as we look for ways to optimize our routines, new questions arise. Could there be a better, simpler way to care for our teeth? Enter hydrogen peroxide, a common household chemical now making headlines as a possible alternative to brushing. Some claim rinsing with diluted hydrogen peroxide can clean teeth and kill germs, maybe even replace your toothbrush. Is this a breakthrough in oral health or a risky shortcut? In this video, we'll explore the science, compare methods, and hear from dental experts to uncover the truth. So, what is hydrogen peroxide? It's a chemical made of hydrogen and oxygen, H2O2. It looks like water, but that extra oxygen atom makes it a powerful cleaner and disinfectant. You've probably used it to clean cuts or as a household cleaner. Its appeal for oral care comes down to two things, whitening and killing germs. Many whitening products already use peroxide, so people wonder if using it directly is better. The idea of a cheap, simple solution for a brighter, cleaner mouth is tempting. Swishing with hydrogen peroxide seems like a shortcut to whiter teeth and fewer germs. It's part of a trend toward DIY health hacks and single-ingredient solutions. But does it really deliver on these promises? When you rinse with hydrogen peroxide, a chemical reaction starts right in your mouth. The H2O2 breaks down into water and oxygen, creating bubbles and foam. This released oxygen is what gives hydrogen peroxide its cleaning and disinfecting power. The oxygen released attacks bacteria, breaking down their cell walls and killing germs. This is why hydrogen peroxide is used to disinfect wounds and can help reduce harmful bacteria in your mouth. The same chemical reaction also breaks apart stain molecules, making teeth look whiter and brighter. That's why it's a common ingredient in whitening products. But hydrogen peroxide isn't selective. It can also damage healthy cells in your gums and cheeks, especially if overused or too concentrated. This can lead to irritation, sensitivity, or even chemical burns, and while it kills some surface bacteria, it can't break through the sticky biofilm of plaque. Only brushing physically removes plaque and keeps your mouth truly healthy. Brushing your teeth is more than just a daily habit. It's one of the most important things you can do for your health. Beyond fresh breath, brushing protects against tooth decay, gum disease, and supports your overall well-being. Brushing is a mechanical process. The bristles physically scrub away food, plaque, and bacteria, removing the main culprits behind cavities and gum disease. Think of it like scrubbing a dirty dish. Rinsing alone isn't enough. You need to brush to truly clean your teeth and break up the sticky biofilm that rinses can't reach. Brushing also stimulates your gums, boosting blood flow and keeping them healthy. Healthy gums are the foundation for strong teeth. Toothpaste adds extra benefits, but no rinse or chemical can replace the physical action of brushing. For a healthy mouth, nothing beats the combination of brushing and toothpaste. Brushing is simple, but essential. It's a small investment of time that pays off with a lifetime of healthy smiles. Let's compare hydrogen peroxide rinsing to traditional brushing. Peroxide offers chemical cleaning killing germs and whitening teeth. It might help with minor gum issues or surface stains in the short term but it can't physically remove plaque or trapped food. It doesn't deliver fluoride, so it can't strengthen enamel or prevent cavities. Brushing, on the other hand, disrupts and removes plaque, clears debris, stimulates gums, and delivers fluoride. The only real limitation of brushing is technique. If you brush well, it works. In a head-to-head -head comparison, brushing is far more thorough and protective. The mechanical action is irreplaceable. Peroxide can be a helpful extra, but it's no substitute for brushing. Relying on peroxide alone leaves your mouth vulnerable. Brushing remains the gold standard. What do dental professionals think? The American Dental Association and experts worldwide agree. Hydrogen peroxide is not a replacement for brushing. While it can be useful in certain short-term situations, it's not safe or effective for daily cleaning. Dentists stress that only brushing can break up the sticky biofilm of plaque. Studies show peroxide rinses might help as an add-on, but not as a substitute. Long-term use can irritate gums and damage oral tissues. And without fluoride, your teeth are more vulnerable to decay. The verdict peroxide has its place, but brushing is essential. Before you reach for that brown bottle, let's talk safety. Even at low concentrations, hydrogen peroxide can irritate your mouth, causing burning, redness, or soreness. Overuse can increase tooth sensitivity and, in rare cases, damage enamel. It can also disrupt the balance of bacteria on your tongue, leading to odd side effects like black hairy tongue. 
Most importantly, never swallow hydrogen peroxide. It can cause serious internal harm. Always dilute it properly and spit it out. The risks of daily use outweigh the benefits. Brushing is safer and more effective. So can hydrogen peroxide replace your toothbrush? The answer is no. While it may help whiten teeth or kill some germs, it can't remove plaque or deliver fluoride. Skipping brushing leaves you open to cavities, gum disease, and other problems. The mechanical action of brushing is irreplaceable. Peroxide is a shortcut that leads to more risk than reward. For a healthy mouth, stick to brushing and toothpaste. Don't trade proven habits for unproven hacks. What's the best plan for lifelong oral health? Brush twice a day for two minutes with a soft bristled brush and fluoride toothpaste. Use proper technique and reach every tooth. Clean between your teeth daily with floss or an inner dental cleaner. Brushing and flossing work together for a complete clean. If you want whitening or antibacterial benefits, use an ADA-approved mouthwash or talk to your dentist. Professional advice is always best before trying new products. Consistency and the right tools are key. See your dentist regularly for checkups. Invest in your smile with proven methods. Skip the shortcuts. Your teeth will thank you. That's a health plan that truly works.